what we're going to do is actually write our very first program. So we're going to have to log into AWS again. So if we just type in AWS Educate login into Google, it should be your first link. We already have an account, so we're just going to sign in. And put in your login and your password. And you'll sign in. Once you get here, you're going to go up to My Classrooms and you're going to select the course code that I gave you and you're going to log into your Google Classroom or correction, not your Google Classroom, into AWS. If this window doesn't pop up, that means you probably have a pop-up blocker over here somewhere that you'll have to disable. We're going to go to AWS console. Yet another window will pop up. And we're going to go to our Cloud9 services. And we're going to start up our IDE that we created in the last lesson. Once we arrive here, what we're going to do first is we're actually going to create folders underneath um, this starting point to place all of our code. Each lesson when we're creating a program, we're going to place it in a different folder just so that we can keep track of all of our items. If you alternate click, so right mouse button click or two fingers or however your computer gives you an alternate click, You'll notice that this little flyout menu comes and you can say new folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in unit one. You will notice that although I did put in a capital, I did not put in any spaces or any special characters. Please do not use any spaces or special characters like a number sign or an at symbol or a star or anything like that because it will just make your life much more difficult. So we have a unit one. I'm just gonna do that again so you can see how it works. Alternate click, new folder, and I will create a unit two for whenever we get there. Under unit one, just like the lessons, I'm going to create a unit one dash one. So a dash is allowed as a special character. So once again, this time under unit one, I'm gonna create a new folder, unit one, dash 01. So the dash is just a minus sign on your keyboard. Okay, so this is where we are. And this is where we want to actually create our first program. We're going to be using Python, actually Python version three. If you go up to file, new from template, and then go down to Python, You'll notice there's several programming languages. We're going to start with Python. And if you just select Python file, it will open up a file for you. You'll notice that it is untitled one.py. And when I hover over it, because I had this folder selected, it tries to put it in that folder for me. Now, clearly, untitled one is probably a really bad name for your program. So before we do anything else, we're actually going to save our program and give it a proper name. So we're going to go up File, Save As. We're going to keep the .py extension, but we're going to get rid of Untitled, and we're going to create our first program, and it's actually going to be called Hello World. You'll notice the standard convention in Python is that we start with a small letter and we separate each word with an underscore, okay? And then we keep .py, and we're saving it in unit 1-01, so we can go save. This right here is actually a comment. We're going to get back to those later on, but for now we're just going to remove everything, and we're going to write our first program. So you'll notice since we saved it properly, 
we now have it in the proper folder and with the correct name. And we're just going to type in this command, print. You'll notice that it gives us what is called IntelliSense. This is a little helpful hint. So we know that we're typing it correctly. Then we're going to put a bracket. We're going to open up quotations. And we're just literally going to type in the word words. Hello, comma, world. This is the traditional first program that programmers write in the new language that they're trying to learn. And the goal of this program is just to get something to come back onto the screen. And it's tradition that you actually type in hello world and the H is always capitalized. There's a comma, the W is capitalized and there's an exclamation point. That's just the way you, we normally do it. Now that we've written our program, we would want to save it. We could either go file and save. I'm on a Mac, so it's command S, or if you're on a Windows computer or a Chromebook, it's control S. So you could either go save here, or you can just do save on your keyboard. And you'll notice when you're doing it, this little X changes for a second to a green dot. And that means it's actually saving it. And up here, you'll notice there's a little cloud symbol. So that means it's taking your code and saving it up to the cloud when you're doing that. Once you're done, you can then get to run your very first program. And you just hit the little run button here and it will start and show up down here. There's a little slider so you can actually click and make it a little bigger so that you can see what's going on. So you just hit run and there is our very first program. And that's all we're gonna do to actually make our program run.